This video was created by Vinyl Lake Puma of Vinyl Lake Puma Gaming. Hey guys, I'm back with episode 4 of Cut Content and Weapons for Fallout 4. I'd like to go ahead and quickly mention that this episode wouldn't have been possible if it weren't for members of the Fallout 4 Nexus modding community. I'll go ahead and I'll show some of their names and leave links in the description if you would like to check out their versions of this particular weapon. Before Fallout 4 came out, I really liked the 556 light machine gun in Fallout New Vegas. It was probably one of my my favorite weapons in that game. I was pleased to find out that it had returned in Fallout 4 as the assault rifle that we all now know. Uh, while Fallout 4's assault rifle isn't quite as powerful as I expected it to be, it's still a formidable weapon if you can get your hands on one. It's also worth mentioning that the assault rifle we got in Fallout 4 is listed in the game's files or code as quote, machine gun. Uh, further confirming that the assault rifle we ultimately got was heavily inspired by the very same light machine gun that we received in Fallout New Vegas. It's also kind of weird that when you add the assault rifle to your favorites bar, uh, the icon appears much like either a AK-47 or the Chinese assault rifle from previous Fallout games, notably Fallout 3. Uh, honestly, this is kind of strange considering that the Chinese assault rifle doesn't even appear in Fallout 4 at all. Speaking of the Chinese assault rifle, it always bothered me that neither the R91 assault rifle nor the Chinese assault rifle made an appearance in Fallout New Vegas. I also thought it was kind of weird and kind of bizarre that both weapons also didn't reappear in Fallout 4, especially considering that Bethesda themselves developed Fallout 4. Uh, now, between the two, I always preferred the Chinese assault rifle because it dealt more damage per bullet at the cost of the weapon degrading and losing its durability faster. Uh, something that you may be interested to know is that in Fallout 4's game files, there is a listing for a, quote, assault rifle in the game's code. Uh, some of the modders I've mentioned earlier managed to find a weapon model that matches one of the two assault rifles that appears in Fallout 3. It is with great pleasure that I present to you the Chinese Assault Rifle. At some point in development, the Chinese Assault Rifle was going to be in Fallout 4, and I highly suspect that the Assault Rifle we ultimately got was going to be called a Machine Gun. Uh, that's of course because the Assault Rifle we got is listed as Machine Gun in the game's code, while the Chinese Assault Rifle model is listed as quote, assault rifle in the game's code. Uh, as mentioned earlier, this isn't even anywhere near finished and is strictly a model of the gun and what it would look like. Uh, despite the fact that you're going to be seeing the weapon firing and reloading, there are no unique sounds, textures, or reloading and firing animations that are unique and or exclusive to the Chinese assault rifle model. In fact, the mod that you are seeing here has based itself around a standard combat rifle that can be found throughout the game and has been modified to use 556 ammo as opposed to 45 ammo. Uh, like the Chinese assault rifle did in Fallout 3. It's worth mentioning that while the mod isn't completely finished, uh, since while you are in third person, the trigger hand overlaps with the gun model uh, in first person. Uh, the problem is while you aim down the sights, uh, you end up focusing on the end iron sight of the gun only as opposed to both the iron sight on the end of the gun as well as the iron sight that's closer to your character's face to make it look even and flush. Uh, that first iron sight that's close to your face ultimately gets in the way. Something that's interesting about the Chinese assault rifle model for Fallout 4 is that it looks very close to the original model from Fallout 3. It's almost identical except for two notable differences. Uh, the first is a small piece in between the left hand grip along the barrel and the barrel itself as circled here. Uh, the second is a ring on the Fallout 4 model stock which would probably have supported like a rifle sling or strap that you would use to sling on to your character's back. And all of this brings us to our big question, why was the Chinese assault rifle cut? 
Now, keep in mind, I am gonna go ahead and speculate a bit here. Since the Chinese assault rifle is really only a model, it's possible that the gun was cut simply because it looks too similar to the Chinese assault rifle from Fallout 3. And really the only real differences between the Fallout 4 model versus the one from Fallout 3 are just the two small things that I mentioned earlier. It's also possible that the Chinese assault rifle was intended for an extremely early build of Fallout 4 that may date back to like 2010 or 2011. It's probably fair to say that a lot of things were originally planned for Fallout 4 and maybe by a larger extension like a game like Skyrim, but due to the hardware limitations of the consoles, which for Skyrim at the time was the 360 and the PS3, certain features and things that the developers wanted to do wouldn't work. Although I would say that the Chinese assault rifle uh, probably wouldn't be on the scope wouldn't be beyond the scope of the PS4 or the Xbox One. It's also possible that the Chinese assault rifle just got cut due to time constraints. I would imagine it would probably take a significant amount of time to design, animate, bug check the guns that ultimately did make the cut for the vanilla release of Fallout 4. Keep in mind too, with guns like the recon target seeking Fat Man, I mean that gun pretty much for all intents and purposes was almost done, but it was cut for whatever reason. Uh, some people would probably say that it was overpowered. In my opinion, I don't care. I think it's way better than the experimental Merv. Regardless, it's a shame that the Chinese assault rifle didn't make its way into the game. Uh, while I really like the 556 assault rifle we ultimately got, more variety with weapon types is always a good thing. Uh, my hope is that the guys that made this particular mod are able to finish it once official mod support releases so everyone can enjoy it regardless of the platform they're on uh, and they get to use the weapons of the infamous Red Menace. Anyway guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like and as always, take care and I'll see you all next time.